India's semiconductor story is no longer just about potential. It's happening. Just last week, Infineon announced that it's doubling its India workforce and even exploring chip manufacturing in our country. And they're not alone. From NXP to Texas Instruments, Intel to Qualcomm, some of the world's biggest semiconductor firms are placing billion dollar bets on India. Why if you ask? Let's decode. Let's tell you about the Infineon move. Infineon is expanding and expanding big in India. A workforce of 5,000 plus engineers by 2030 itself. A revenue target of a billion dollars from India. When it comes to new GCCs, Ahmedabad joining Bengaluru. So what's next? Chip manufacturing, either directly or via partners. This is not just another tech footprint. It's a full stack vision from chip design to software development to end to end semiconductor value creation all powered by India in India. So what will the domino effect be? Infineon's announcement is just one piece of a much larger wave, a wave that will have NXP semiconductors, $1 billion R&D investment, four design hubs in India. And that's why the team is doubling its size to support both automotive and industrial chips. Even Karnataka will get the biggest share. Now let's talk about Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments was the first GCC to set up an R&D center in India way back in 1985. And now, India is Texas Instruments' largest engineering hub outside the US. They are building analog plus embedded chips for the global markets. No wonder they celebrated 40 years in India. And the next 10, well, they belong to India. ST Microelectronics partnered with Foxconn to bid for a 40 nm chip fab in Gujarat, a design center in Greater Noida amongst its largest outside Europe. And they are focusing heavily on automotive, industrial and imaging chips as well. And that's why the focus is on design first, manufacture next. Let's be clear, most of these companies are not uh, rushing to build fabs just yet. But what they are doing is equally important. They are building design talent they are expanding their R&D labs, laying the foundation for manufacturing when the time will be exactly right. For instance, Intel has no fab plants yet, but just opened a new AI chip lab in Bengaluru. Qualcomm, it opened a 177 crore INR R&D center in Chennai, calling India its largest engineering base globally. Analog devices, working with Tata to explore manufacturing its analog chips locally. And that's where the workforce magnet comes in. India has two big things going for it, scale and skills. Over 20% of the world's chip design talent is right here in India. Engineering colleges are producing 1.5 million STEM graduates every single year. Startups and GCCs are collaborating in a way like they have never done before. Government-led initiatives are aligning skilling with industry needs. Micron, for example, is already training engineers in Malaysia and Mohali for its new $2.75 billion packaging plant in Gujarat, India's first ever foreign semicon manufacturing project. And that's where the strategic support of the government comes into the picture. The Indian government has gone all in on semiconductors. $10 billion incentive schemes, infrastructures like Dholera, Sanan, and Assam's OSAT hubs, and a focus on end-to-end -end value chain. Design, fab, OSAT, talent, IP. And this is what gives companies like, say, Renaissance, Broadcom, ADI, the confidence to expand R&D now and explore manufacturing later. And that brings us to an important question. Why are semiconductor GCCs betting big on India and so big? The world knows about India's talent density. And of course, the government push it's expanding demand for electronics, EVs, and IoT. A strategic interest in a diversified global supply chain. It's all in India. India is not just rising, it's rapidly becoming the new R&D backbone of the global chip ecosystem. Infineon CEO said it best, and we are quoting him. India is an interesting market, and we are here to grow. Now, the only question, and the most important one is, how far can India take this semiconductor wave? What do you think? Can India become a true global semiconductor superpower? Tell us in the comments below. And of course, share this video with a fellow tech enthusiast just like you, just like me. For more such in-depth stories of tech, innovation, and AI, subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.